the title of the video accurately displays the contents. Our goal is to make a full-featured standalone network video recorder, but out of a computer, well, the laptop in my case. The MVR basically, which is quite convenient, to be fair, if you have a stationary computer in home or on the site operating 24 by 7 and uh, this is the way that allows you to replace the video recorder with your PC, which is confirmed and full-featured option. And this is more about what works better with you. And we're going through the whole process from a scratch, so you can see it and make it work for you. My name is Daniel, you're on the People System Store channel, where we've got for you all that you might need for your video surveillance system, including cameras, video recorders and the storage for them. And we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Initially, you've got a fork. The first is that you already have a hard drive in your PC with some uh, empty space on it that you can allocate for the video storage purpose. If you don't have one, that's the second way. Purchase an external hard drive connected via USB or the internal HDD like this one and consider selecting the hard drive designed for the video surveillance system that will be your best option like this Western Digital Purple. With the options number 2 and 3, you can skip the next part and go straight to the storage server setup because your drives are empty and ready to go. But for the number 1 case, we get to prepare the HDD for the further operations and there's no anything difficult in that, so this is what we do. All right, we need to divide the drive in a two independent sections. So the first one goes for the all common uh, file types, the programs, multimedia, the OS, and etc. You got it, and everything you normally store on your computer. And the section and the second section will go exclusively for the video surveillance system. So why are we doing that? Uh, when uh, we set up the video recording from the uh, cameras onto the drive. The system reserves all the available free space for its needs for the videos and we want our files to remain untouched to the point by analogy so here i've got a two terabyte well almost 1.81 uh hard drive under the d letter and i already have files on it and these are actually i oh hold up hello dude uh -huh properties it's around 40 gigs to be exact we we're not gonna wait till it loads up just so you know there are files right here right now and i don't really want to, them to be removed all right uh one of my project files so this is what i do i go to file explorer if you're not here still let's go to this pc uh allocate in my computer or this pc right mouse click and the manage Wait until it loads up, uh, open up, uh, make full screen. And uh, here I go to storage and disk management. Wait until it's uh, loaded. And here you can see all the available drives that I have uh, here. I gotta locate mine. One, it takes, oh yeah, under the D letter, healthy. And it's, uh, as you can see, 1863 gigs, making a total of almost terabytes all right so and here is it here now i want to divide it into two volumes the second of which will assign for the video surveillance so right click on it and there we go i shrink volume waiting and now we're gonna deal with the size of the new drives distribute the space between them and uh, uh number on top this one is the total available space and i want to get exactly two disks uh, of the same size so i should divide this uh, under my remember do i have it calculated in here cow oh yeah i do yeah i just go on and calculate so it's one nine zero twenty six uh-huh twenty six all right is it yeah all right yeah divide in the in a two, there we go. Nine five, ah, uh, nine five, thirty eight, sixty three. Now I just right here. Oh, hold up, hold up. Oh, what's going on? Oh yeah, nine five three. It's eight six three, eight six three. Just to make it completely the half. All right, and. Uh, you just entered i 
output number and pressing shrink. What you see now, we have separated exactly the half of it. Here it is. The one, as you can see now, is uh, has become uh, 931 gigs. So as you can see here, but this one is unallocated and not active. So we gotta turn this section on, right click on it and new simple volume. The wizard, uh, yeah, the uh, size nominal, not modifying anything here, the same as it was. Uh, and now assigning a letter, E, well, let it be E, of course, why not? If it's uh, like empty. All right, and the next, and also uh, format. Uh, this volume with the following settings uh, is literally required to make it work. These are the rules. So, yeah, to the next. I'm waiting a bit. Formatting. Just wait until it's done. And there we go. And there we go. Yeah, it's ready. And as you can see, it's active. And we just get two volumes made out of one. So, let me just get back to a PC. Close this. This PC. And what you can see now. Let me even hold up. Update. All right. There we go. Two drives, the one we created, E and the D uh, was there. So two separate drives made of one solid. And I have all my files left here on the first main one. And the uh, second one, let me just go back, is empty. And they both 931 gigs. See, off, off. So it's just what we need. And from this point, um, we can uh, safely use it as a separate drive uh, for the video surveillance live storages. And let's get to that part. But so just, you know, this files, this drives will remain untouched forever from this now. And uh, let's get to the part where we set it all up. All right, from this point, uh, you have a vacant, vacant hard drive. Here it is, a volume E. And you can allocate for the videos recording from your CCTV system. And for high vision, because that's what we do, it will look like this. We need two tools. The IVMS 4200s, uh, like the main tool for managing the entire system, and the most important, the storage server, namely the tool we will use for organizing a server on a computer. It is installed uh, either as the uh, additional item where you install IVMS software or can be downloaded separately and you will have all the links in the, to the official sources in the uh, video description. So first of all, we launch the storage server. Yes, sure confident about this one. Now we check if it launched. Look, yeah, it is. Just let me check. Yeah, 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 it is, it launched. Uh, right, right. And uh, by the way, yeah, so uh, right after you downloaded it and installed it, the only thing it will ask you to do is to um, activate it. And that is just to come up with a password. And that's it. It will start uh, instantly and will be ready to work 100%. Nothing else uh, needs to be done. So the server is running now and we need to launch the IVMS. I have it open. Uh, and here's the camera that I use for uh, all this performance. And now we need to add the server. So normally this tab is closing. So you press the online device here and we get a list with all, all the device under our subnet. And up, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. And here, yeah, hold up, hold up. Uh huh, we locate the storage server. Uh, we uh, check the, back, the box left to it and uh, pressing add. From here, uh, naming it uh, like whatever you want. And it will be, of course, storage. Storage, uh, username, admin, and the password. Uh, this is the standard username default. And the password that you have created like a minute ago, which will be for me, it's this one, synchronize time, add. Okay, now yes, uh, it should appear here in the top list with the online status, meaning it's okay. Now, what we do, check here and press the cog icon. Now, yeah, we're going to the uh, settings of our server and uh, going to the storage item. And now you can see we have two drives uh, that we have uh, made for, from one whole one and created in the uh, previous stage. In my case, I, ha I have drive D, the main one, and the additional drive E letter. 
So I put a tick on it because this is the one I am going to use. Ticking it uh, and pressing format. Uh, yes, sure. Okay. I mean, uh, trust me, it uh, won't work if you skip the step because what is happening now uh, processes uh, it. Uh, this server, the tool, reserves all free disk space for itself. I mean, these are the rules for the CCTV system. You just give it the entire hard drive and this is the only way. Well, at least in the server. So now I'm gonna wait. It's gonna happen for too long. I'm gonna... What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rewind I'm just a bit, but now I'm just waiting. Yes, and uh, then we will offer to restart, of course, reboot, just to make it take effect. Wait until it reboots, restarts, it's about the server. Now it should launch back. Okay, okay, it did. And now we're going to the settings back. Now I'm going to storage item, general, and now as you can see, the status here on the E drive changed from unformatted, like for D, to normal. Put a tick next to it and uh, press save. Saved. And uh, that's uh, actually it. Now we literally have a video recorder on our computer. And all that's left to do is to enable the recording itself. Let's right, so close that. And to do this, go to the storage schedule item there we go so schedule item down here come on load up and uh select your camera i got only a single one so it's camera one 2443 g0 open its recording settings meaning press like exactly the camera and the middle item the storage server we hold up and all that's left to do is to uh, enable the recording itself. And to do this, go to the storage schedule item in here and select the camera that we need. I've got a single camera only. So yeah, selecting it, uh, it's recording settings and pressing the middle item here, the storage server. And of course, we got only a one item here, the storage server that we've created like a step uh, back. So storage, recording schedule and here you select uh, the template you need, the recording profile that you need. Uh, I'll choose a template, all day template and edit the all day long uh, template for all days. And as you can see, it's filled uh, all with blue color, meaning continuous type of recording. And uh, that's basically it, okay. Uh, I save here, just don't forget that, of course, save. These settings are saved. And, uh, well, that's actually it. That's all for the entire settings. And now we just gotta wait uh, for a minute till it records at least something so I can show up there. Maybe we'll catch that. Hello, camera. I hope you can see me there. All right, let's go. And now, what do we do now? Uh, we're gonna, we wanna check everything if we did everything right and correct. So we go to, uh, device tab and remote playback now the camera pressing it here and it should appear something yeah of course so this is the scene that i have now as you can see it recorded uh <laughs> hold up oh, let me run back uh you can already see the video archive that started recording <laughs> like a minute ago, just when we turned it on. Oh, as you can see, just what I did. Yes, this is the proof. Awesome, awesome that you can see it. Awesome, we went back. Uh, so yeah, we zoomed in and here you can see the recorded timeline. And uh, in fact, that's it, like totally. But I wanna, uh, that, there's, there's a one last thing I wanna recommend you to do. It's not necessary, but still I advise you to. So uh, go to the settings and uh, storage video file stored in, uh, make it a like storage server only to show on your recording from the server and uh, save. Why? Just to be sure that there is no any confusions. 
So I think it's a really convenient thing. Even if you have just a home video surveillance system, you have a stationary computer and you need just a simple video recording. And you don't even need to purchase the on the R, which of course, uh, as for a store, is not beneficial to showcase and tell you, but we got what we got. But the pros though, this is uh, of course just a quick guide to create a server with storage for video surveillance on a PC with no really advanced functionality, but nevertheless, there are many applications of such a scheme. And uh, if you don't want to deal with all this stuff in our people system store, we will assemble a perfect video, su video surveillance system for you, including cameras, video recorders, storage. Just contact us following this link and we ship over UK, Europe and many other countries. And thank you for watching.